For this video, we are throwing back to October the 22nd, where we established the Cedar Mountain World Championship competition, where Team Charles Barclay challenged the Norwegian hype train to a time trial competition up Cedar Mountain. It's like it's like a real race, or it's it's. Uh... Well, I think the near are going to do it on mountain bikes, okay. so we're going to have a head start. Yeah. I don't know how much of a head start we're going to need on you guys yeah. on a mountain bike. <laughs> so we are here to do a hill climb race against, well, myself, the underdog, versus 70.3 world champion. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> the, the reigning Ironman world champion, the reigning Olympic world champion. Olympic, well, no, yeah. Olympic champion, not, oh, he is a world champion as well, isn't he? Yeah. He's the triathlon series world champion and the Olympic champion. And then plain old me, the underdog, the fans' favourite, the reason why everyone subscribes to our video. Everyone will be cheering on me versus these titans, these viking raiders, mermaids, whatever you want to call them. We are on mountain bikes and we are going to be going five minutes before the Norwegians, I think, or maybe seven minutes, depending on how they feel. We also have the Cedar Cycles group. They've organised this event for us. I think they were a little bit shocked when we said gonna have some bandits turning up they're all a little bit nervous at the moment but yeah here we are hill climb it's about 12 kilometers long just over 750 meters of elevation we are at altitude at the moment so definitely gonna be burning the lungs and yeah it's gonna be we fun. Go. They might get warm. I'm at one with my mountain bike now. I've been training on it for the last two weeks. I feel really comfortable on it. I think the Norwegians choosing to ride on a TT bike might be a disadvantage on the hill. I think, I think probably they won't get very good aero position going up the 17% uh, gradient at the top. So yeah, I think we've got a, an advantage. And if we if we start falling behind a lot, we can always just go off road and do a little shortcut. But we won't tell them that. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> The panels was not made for the own shoes. <laughs> The race was set for Right Hand Canyon, which goes up Cedar Mountain. This is a roughly 12 kilometer segment, averaging around 8% in gradient, but the steepest part gets up to about 17% gradient. So on a mountain bike, it was pretty tough. I am like a uh, world champion, you know? I guess the 
guy with the timers left, hasn't he? So, oh. <laughs> whenever it's you want. Five twenty since we start a little warm up. What's your plan on? 15 minutes steady, and then we take it from there, see how the lungs is reacting to the altitude, and then we can, yeah, see how it goes. Uh, if we can catch them, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. 50 no minutes, idea. 55. So it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, we are not 10 percent quicker, so it's gonna be. It's gonna be a tight one. 30 <laughs> seconds. Let's go. Woo! Let's hunt them down. Ah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Gustav and Christian had given us a full sense of security. When they turned up, they said they were only there, they were doing a bit of a session, they were gonna do some intervals in their effort, but I secretly knew that they were super competitive and they didn't want me or Reese to win, especially as we were on mountain bikes. So we knew that it was gonna be a full out effort for me and Reese if we had any chance of holding them off before we even got halfway up. It was always gonna be competitive. Too hard. Well, way too hard. Flew up in 10 minutes. Now just got to hang on for an hour. Hopefully, get a second wind in a minute. Is that them? Yeah, that's them. Yeah, that's them. Should have given him a 10 minute head start. Reese went out on this effort so hard. I was like, what is he doing? Because I felt like I was going hard, but he had dropped me straight away. I tried to settle into my effort and was hoping that Reese was going to slow down. He did slow down. We probably had been going for like 10, 15 minutes. So I reeled him back in, went past Reese, was starting to feel good about myself. And then I could just hear the hype train coming and I looked behind me and I could not believe it that they were already coming. So I was like, right, let's just see if I can hold them off any longer. And they came past, didn't even look like they'd broken a sweat. They were talking to each other, having a laugh and they were just gone. And I was like, knew I should want my TT bike out because there was no way I was even hanging on for a second to get a draft on that mountain bike. <laughs> I reckon that's enough of a... I don't know, we're not gonna, going uh, full gas. like full gas the whole way. We are like 10 minutes, it's uh, five minutes, so... Okay. That's it, making the water move. I'm gonna go back past. Freezing. Not fit enough to get my heart rate high enough to stay warm. was to do the effort under the hour. 
and with a bit of help from Christian at the end, he was a good team player, he'd finished, he'd done his effort, he turned back round, he came back and he coached me into the finish and he pushed me to get under that hour. So I was just happy that I did the, the effort in under an hour on a mountain bike. I think it's probably quite obvious by now that the Norwegian hype train did beat Team Charles Barclay. They were the winners of the event. I came in not too far behind. I did manage to get under the hour, like I said, which was a target of mine. Well, look, I actually sweated on that. That bin bag worked. But it's a treat, though. And then straggling behind was Reese, who didn't even put any fuel on his bike, even though it was going to be an hour effort. Smashed it. Smashed you at least. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone did. I got a penalty at to serve both. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Both. Both. Six minutes. Yeah. Actually though, there is no video evidence of Gustav and Christian finishing, so I don't know, maybe we need a rematch or we need some stewards inquiry because I don't know if there's evidence that they actually did win. We're just assuming that they went the right way, didn't take any shortcuts. <laughs> but you know what? It was just a lot of fun. We had a good training session out of it and it was a good preparation for the next World Champs that was coming up a week later. Intervals. No, no, I just died. <laughs> no warm up, and after five minutes, that was it. I was in trouble. I nearly matched my Strava time from last year on a road bike, so watch out, ladies. <laughs> but uh, I beat Reese, so that's the main thing. <laughs> I won the mountain bike category. Had no chance against these two. <laughs> Needed a bit more of a head start. <laughs> So after we'd done the Hill Climb World Championships, we decided that we would head down to the local swimming pool, which is the Southern Utah University pool. I felt like I needed to reassert my dominance on Team Norway, so a swim session was definitely what I needed. Do we need to go straight to the pool? Because yeah. it shuts yeah. it too. So how do we do it there? Do we get like yeah, seven, minute, like, <laughs> seven yeah. minute head start? You did a <laughs> <minutes. Finish> the <laughs> session. Yeah. And, and we did a wetsuit. You went out like a nutter. I died. <laughs> I even came past and let him have some Morton. <laughs> I had that level of lactate the whole way up. <laughs> such a bad error. <laughs> yeah, you know like when you do track reps and you feel sick? I just had that for an hour. And even when I slowed down, it didn't go. <laughs> I actually got I got a scholarship, but it was for my swimming to study sports science, and then I quit swimming. So I didn't get the scholarship. How many have you got to swim? Rise to thank you. Rise to what's the slogan now? Rice to, uh, rice to it, isn't it? Rice to it. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Have you seen the state of it? Well, it's actually a bit better now, but. Nice. Yeah. But you don't get any black nails. No, my nails are all. Oh, all God. Good. Well, this one is basically completely. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to have a football thing for it. Hundred and one up and then boom! Straight in. <laughs> uh, I think we do this in 200. That's 600 feet. That's 600 feet. 600 feet. Yeah. That's 600 feet. Yeah. 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 Y
We decided to do one of our typical kind of leading into a 70.3 race training session, which was 10 200s. I felt a little bit better about myself after that session. Was it good? Yeah, it was very <laughs> splashy. Everything I say, you should print it on a t shirt. Everything I do, you can read it on Twitter. Huh. What's it good? And I'm going to do a fire as well. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make the start time. I think, like, not follow your pace, so just do the 200s. All right, we'll stay off 230 then. Winning. It wasn't that right? It wasn't. <laughs> Every tumble turn I see you both look at each other. <laughs> it's a clear winner. It's me. <laughs> I had to catch up every last hundred. <laughs> well, I made a start time, so I'm pretty happy as well. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect altitude. Like it is altitude, but you don't feel it that much. Yeah, you don't feel it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I find it meshing quite nice with uh, I like the shorts. It's a great look. I just miss it. Yeah. I'm just it's missing his really compliments. <laughs> uh, James Hatton will be like. <laughs> <laughs> That has been a look at our pre-Worlds training with Team Norway and Team Charles Barclay and a bit of competitive fun. Now we're going to bring you a bit of a competition. So all we have to do to win this signed cube t-shirt is comment below. If we have a rematch with Team Norway, what would you like to see us do in that competition? We will pick our favourite comment to win the signed t-shirt. As always, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos coming soon. I mean, look at this, we've got world number three, ex-world champion. We've got Ironman world champion, Olympic champion, Reese. <laughs> <laughs>